Unfortunately, we're not going to make it into the shanty unscathed. I'm going to try to sneak as much as possible, but we're going to bump them deer out of there. So, let's get to bumping. Welcome back everybody. It is <coughs> the Saturday, uh, December 28th, and uh, I'm up here in Slava's shanty with the old Lyman Flintlock. I love uh, Flintlock season here in Pennsylvania. Uh, they got a really cool deal where if you didn't fill your buck tag, you can actually shoot a doe using your buck tag. So I unfortunately didn't get a doe tag over here this year, which I, was, I absolutely should have. I uh, blame myself for that. But I'm looking to shoot a big old doe with that flintlock. I'm not sure if there's any uh, big bucks left over here or not. I'm sure that some will show up at some point, but there's none here that I know of. Uh, we'll get that gun loaded up and uh, get to watching the wood line here. Thanks for watching, everybody.
Okay, everybody, so as you've seen, I finally had a mature doe come out here at about 90, 95 yards, and uh, I have obviously a really good rest in here, and I tried shooting her multiple times, and uh, my powder was igniting the pan, but it wasn't charging, you know, the, the powder in the gun, and uh, I tried shooting her like, I think four or five times, and the gun wouldn't go off, and I reprimed the pan, and uh, tried again, it didn't go off, and finally, I eventually got it to go off. I'm not sure on the shot. The doe acted kind of like she got hit, but obviously with these flint locks, all you see is smoke, so I just watched the video back, and it almost looks like I hit her. It's really hard to tell, but uh, let's get down there and see if there's any hair, and uh, just go see what we can find. Of course, just realized I forgot my flashlight, so that figures. We'll uh, at least go down with a cell phone and see if we can see some hair or something. And, uh, we'll see if we got her. Okay, so I just looked at the video, and that tree right there, I don't know how well you can see that. It's got a Y in it. And uh, she stopped right in front of this tree, and I think that's her scuff mark right here. And I don't see any blood at all, but I know with these round balls, sometimes they really don't bleed experience that firsthand. So what I'm going to do is just take her running track down through the woods and see if I come across any blood and if not we'll go back and get a better light, watch the video on the big screen and uh, see if we can't figure out anything. We'll be back over see if we can find her here if she's hit. Okay so it's the next morning and uh, I obviously reviewed that video quite a few times last night I'm convinced that it was a hit. I can't really tell where exactly though. It almost looks like there's two different impacts on the deer. One being up by the shoulder, uh, lung shot, and the other one being back, you know, liver shot. But I'll show you what we got here and I'll show you where I think, you know, the impact possibly is on the video. So I think I see one impact right here. And then the other one I think I see right here. So, either way, the way she runs back here and uh, stands next to this tree, right here, she just stands there, hunched up, tail tucked, that really makes me think that it was a liver hit. So, we're going to get back there this morning and see what we can find. Hopefully she's going to be laying there and the first uh, the first bark out of the lineman muzzle loader flint lock was a kill shot. Okay everybody, so Slav and I are back. There's the shanty I shot the deer out of and she was standing right here, ran right down through here. And stopped right in front of this this split wide tree and uh, <clears throat> stood here for a second and we can't find any sign of blood or anything right here and then she took off running this way so we're gonna go in the woods and see if we can cut her track or end up just doing a body search here we got quite a bit of rain on the way so we're gonna almost looks like that could have been her right here okay we've been looking for 30 minutes or so to zigzag this whole hillside and top of it all the way to the field so now we're gonna get right down into the ravine and start zigzagging that look at that deer trail crossing the ravine right here Say a few deer, a few deer have used that. Okay, what we've been doing now is just following all these hard running tracks down this ravine edge. And uh, the issue is though, there's so many of them coming off that hillside. 
but we're gonna keep looking. Okay, everybody, so I think I'm gonna wrap this up. We walked for about five hours this morning and covered miles along this ravine side, crossed the ravine, looked over there, looked all in this thick tornado debris down below, <coughs> down below the field. Never found any hair where the shot was, never found any blood, even where she stopped on the edge of the field. We tracked every running track off that field from last night, all to come up with nothing. So, leads me to believe that I actually missed her, even though, man, does it look like the way she acts on the shot and after the shot that I hit her. I was thinking a liver hit, uh, especially the way her tail was tucked and she stopped on the edge of the field a little bit humped up like that. I thought for sure that she was hit. And I could never see the splash of the round behind her anywhere. So, uh, that's one of the issues with these round balls, I think. Uh, I shoot the round balls out of my lineman because it sh the round balls shoot way better than any of the sabots. The sabots kind of spray out of it. The round balls shoot really true out of it. And uh, what I've noticed is sabots, you get good blood trails. With those round balls, you don't get nothing. I mean, that doe I shot last year in the snow, she literally never bled a drop. And I had double lunged her. But uh, I just, I'm crossing my fingers that it was a clean miss uh, and that she's still running, you know, fine. Uh, if I did hit her, it's really too bad. I hope I didn't, but I want to know what you guys think looking at the video. Do you think that deer's hit or, uh, or not? And if you do think she's hit, why don't you tell me where you think she's hit? Because it looks like there's almost two different impacts. One by the lungs and one by, you know, back, you know, further back on her. But, uh, let me know what you think. But we exhausted all, all, uh, attempts to find this deer and, came up empty wish we would have had a little snow that would have really helped us out but it is what it is we're gonna get right back after them and try to put a big doe on the ground with a flintlock so stay tuned thanks for watching i wish this uh, would have been a dead deer outcome but uh, i'm crossing my fingers that that deer's still on the move thanks for watching everybody have a good one